You join us here on the Intergalactic Time Capsule. We're here to play a unique game, a game where knowing the answers isn't the only thing you need to win. No, no, no. In this game, waiting as long as possible before you buzz in means you'll get maximum points. And that's something you want to do if you want to avoid ending up in the group portal. As it's a game show, we need loads of questions, and we're in luck. Our computer is chock-a-block full of them. He is the total intelligence mechanism, or as I like to call him, because we're pals, Tim. I'm Tim. Totally intelligent mechanism. Tim knows everything about everything, don't you, Tim? I'm the fastest fact-finding mechanism ever. The person with the most points after three rounds will be joining me in our final game, Wait a Minute, where they'll have a chance to win a fantastic prize. And believe me, it's out of this world. <laughs> for the other players, it means they have to take a walk out into the drop zone for a dunk in the goo portal. Let's see who's playing today. <laughs> Hi, Gronya. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Excited nice. about being here? Yeah. Good. I love this outfit. This the stars and everything. It's very in keeping with our intergalactic time capsule. Yeah. What do you think of it? It's really colourful and bright and disgusting. Not very inviting <laughs> at all. The idea is to try and avoid it. That's, do you think yeah. you'd be able to do that? Hopefully. Who do you think's your biggest competition on the team today? Aoife. And why is that? Because we're best friends, so she knows my weaknesses, so she might use that against me. Gronya, it's really nice to meet you. Yeah. Best of luck with the game. Thanks. All right, see you shortly. Killian is our second contestant, and he looks uh, quietly confident here. How are you doing, Killian? Good. Yeah, arms folded, looking pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling about playing uh, Wait For It today? Uh, good. Yeah? What's the thing you're most nervous about today? Uh, well, I think... That really tells you. Well, that's yeah, that's an obvious thing to be a little bit concerned about, yeah. Uh, I've not been in myself, but we've seen people in there in the past, and when they go in, they actually do smile. They look like they're having a good time. Yeah, but, like, seriously, guts and stuff are in there. There could be anything in there. I don't know. Are you concerned about anyone on the team? Who's your biggest competition? Her. Aoife? Yes. Oh. Gronya said the same thing. I think it's about time we met this mysterious Aoife. See you shortly, Killian, yes? See him. So, Aoife, your reputation precedes you. Excited about being with us today? Yes, definitely. Cool, cool. What do you think about what the guys are saying? That's pretty complimentary. They think you're a tough cookie. Well, they might think I'm a tough cookie, but I think everybody here will be quite a big competition. Oh, really? OK. So, you're everyone else's greatest competition. Who is the greatest competition for the greatest competition? If I had to choose, it would probably be Grinder. So is she really good at, at school? Yes. Yeah. She's a bit of a swat. Just joking, Grinder. Oh! <laughs> Check her out. She's just clever. All right, well, cool. Well, best of luck on the, on the show today. Thank you. Hope you do well. Yeah. Really nice to meet you. Our fourth and final contestant is Michael. Hiya, Michael. Hi. Wow, I can tell you're having a good time. You can't smile on your face. That's great. Do you, are you ever sad? No. No, good, good, good. What, I'll tell you something that may wipe the smile off your face. What do you think of the goo portal? Good. You do? You fancy a dip in <laughs> yeah. there? Yeah. Oh, great, yeah. No, it's a good laugh, actually. Yeah. What about the other team players today? Who, who are you a little bit worried about? Aoife. Fancy an Aoife. She was so modest when we were talking to her, but really, is she clever? Yep. Well, really nice to meet you, Michael. You Best do. of luck. Thank you. And uh, let's get cracking. This is round number one. Now, every question has a series of clues lasting for 15 seconds. The question starts the same time the clock begins, counting from zero to 15. Now, you can buzz in at any time, but the longer you wait, the more points you'll get. So, for example, you buzz in at seven seconds, you get the question right, you bag yourself seven points. If you get it wrong, everyone else gets seven points. Now, there are ten questions in this round, and you each have three lives, so you've got to be careful and use them wisely. Remember, listen carefully to the clues, and when you think you know the answer, wait for it. OK, round one, question one. Let's hear it, Tim. I'm a fictional character. I'm the central character in a series of seven books. I'm an orphan, and I was raised by the horrible Dursley family. Michael. Harry Potter. Harry Potter is the right answer. Well played. <laughs> it's 
stop the clock at seven seconds, which means he's got himself seven points. Very well played, remember. Keep an eye on one another. Let's hear question two. I'm a country in Southern Europe. I'm home to many famous football teams like Lazio and Juventus. Some of my most famous landmarks include the... <coughs> oh, Michael in again. Eight seconds. Italy. Italy is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> Question three, please, Tim. I'm very cold to touch. You might put cubes of me into a drink. If I'm laid very flat and smooth, you can skate on me. Glaciers are made of me. Aoife. Ice. Ice is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> Stop the clock at eight seconds. You've got yourself eight points. Very well done. OK, this is question number four. In football, I'm when someone pretends that they're going to kick the ball. I'm the puppet used by ventriloquists. I'm also something that parents put in the mouths of babies. Grania. Dummy. Dummy. It's the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> and double figures. Ten points there, Grania. Excellent. Question number five. Halfway through the round. I'm something you can eat, generally a handful at a time. I can come in tins or packets. I might make you thirsty, particularly if you eat the salted version. But I also have a dry roasted type. Killian. Nuts. Nuts. It's the right answer, well played. <laughs> well done, yes. 11 points, well done, Killian. All right, question six. Let's have it, Tim. I'm the head of the British monarchy. I have four children and eight grandchildren. My eldest son, Charles, will one day take over my job. Killian. Queen Elizabeth II. Absolutely spot on, Queen Elizabeth II. Well played. <laughs> Got yourself another nine points there. OK. Question seven, Tim. I am a type of public transport found almost everywhere. I usually follow a fixed route and have a number on the front. The most famous type of me are the red double... <laughs> Michael. A car? It's the wrong answer. The answer we were looking for was bus. It was going to be a bus. So everyone else gets nine points. So also, Michael, you've used your, your last life there, so you're frozen out of the rest of this round, OK? The next question is question number eight. Let's have it, Tim. I'm an insect. I like to drink blood. Not all types are dangerous, but millions of people a year become ill after being bitten by... Killian. Mosquito. Mosquito is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> Seven points. All right, Killian, that was your last life. All right, so you're frozen out of the remainder of the round. This is question number nine. Let's have it, Tim. I'm the first of a set of two films starring Ben Stiller and Robin Williams. I feature a security guard who works through the night in a building full of... Ooh, Aoife. Employee of the month? <laughs> Is that all? It's the wrong answer, Aoife. You stop the clock at seven seconds. Because you answered incorrectly, everyone else gets seven points. The answer was night at the museum. OK. Question number ten. Let's have it, Tim. I can help you see in the dark, but I'm not night vision goggles. I've been used throughout history. Though where once I was made by setting wood alight, I now come in metal and plastic. Aoife. Torch. Torch. Mm. It's right. Well played. <laughs> Ten points. So, that brings us to the end of round number one. Who waited the longest? Who bagged the most points? There's only one way to find out. Players, leave your play pods and please enter the drop zone. Tim has been keeping score. I can reveal the first person safe and definitely through to round number two is... Killian! Well played! <laughs> Don't have too much! Very pleased with himself. OK. The second person, say, joining Killian in round number two is... Aoife! <laughs> well played, Aoife. <laughs> Tense. OK. Two left. Michael and Gronje. The person that has to leave us now and enter the goo portal is...
Michael. Sorry, Michael, but we have to say goodbye. Give him a wave, guys. Wasn't it? What's it like out there on the end? It's really scary because I didn't know whether it'd be Michael or me. Yeah? All right, this is round number two. It's called Watch and Wait. It's different to round number one, but we have the same scoring system. Wherever you stop the clock, that's the number of points you'll get if you get it right. Now, I'm going to give you a category, and you have to decide how many seconds worth of clue you need on that subject. If you stop the clock at eight seconds, you'll hear eight seconds worth of clue, get it right, you bag yourself eight points. If you get it wrong, we'll continue to play the clues and give your opponents a chance to swipe those points. So if we're ready, let's wait for it. All right, guys. The first category is fictional characters. Let's start it, Tim. It's important to keep an eye on each other, an eye on the clock. <coughs> Oh, Killian, you stopped the clock at nine seconds, so we're going to hear nine seconds worth of clue, then I'll ask you for your answer. So let's have it, Tim. I'm a cartoon character. I'm very fond of beer and donuts, and like spending time with my friends Mo and Barney. I live in Springfield, where I... Killian. Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson is the correct answer! <laughs> well played. That means you got yourself nine points. The second category is objects. It's objects, OK? So let's start the clock, please. <coughs> Granny, you stop the clock at nine seconds. Let's hear nine seconds of clues. I'm used to draw or write. I'm made from wood and can have a graphite core, although many people think I contain lead. I can also come in many different... Pencil? Pencil is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> well done. Got yourself nine points there. The third category is people. It's people. OK? Tim, the clock. Remember, wait as long as possible for maximum points, but don't miss out. Keep an eye on each other. Oh, Aoife, you stop the clock at eight seconds. Let's hear those clues. I am a leader. In some countries, I can be the main leader, or sometimes there might also be a prime minister. I'm not a monarch, but I'm normally... Do you know the answer? Is it the president? Is that a guess? Sort of, yeah. Yeah. It's a good guess. It's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> Got yourself eight points. This is question number four, and the category is television. Let's start the clock, Tim. Aoife, you stopped the clock at eight seconds. Let's hear those clues. I'm a famous TV show, which was also made into a film. The stories feature a family who live on a secret island, operating an all... Aoife, is that enough? Do you know the answer? Um, no. Do you want to have a guess? I have a clue. Oh. Sorry, Aoife. What we're going to do is we're going to play the remainder of the question, guys. This is your chance to grab some points, OK? So, restart the questions, please, Tim. ...organisation called International Rescue. Five brothers operate five impressive machines, and Brains helps too. Out of time. The answer we were looking for was Thunderbirds. Anyway, not to worry, we're up to question number five. The category is Objects. So let's start the clock, Tim. Gronje, you stopped the clock at eight seconds. Killian was over the buzzers. Let's hear the clues, please, Tim. I'm something you'll find in the kitchen. I'm probably not used every day, though. I can be electric or I can be operated by hand. Ooh, that's quite a toughie. There's not much there. Do you know the answer, Gronje? Um... Is it a whisk? Was that a guess? It's a fantastic guess. It's the right answer. <laughs> 
Well done. Got yourself eight points. Excellent. So, guys, this is the last question in this round. Question six. The category is the calendar. So let's start the clock. Ooh. Killian. Stop the clock at seven seconds. Let's hear those clues. I am a month. I have 31 days. You'll see leaves turning brown and falling when I'm around. And you might... You know the answer, Killian? Is it September? It's a good guess, but it's the wrong answer. Let's play the rest of the clues. A chance for you to swipe some points here, girls. Let's continue, Tim. I have a fright, as Halloween happened. Ooh, Aoife. October. October is the right answer. Well played. <laughs> swipe nine points. Excellent stuff. OK, so that's the end of round number two. Who picked up the most points? Who is going for a dunk in the gunk? It's time to find out. Players, leave your play pods and enter the drop zone. The first person safe and definitely through to round number three is... Aoife. Well played. Well played. The person leaving us and going for a dunk in the goo portal is... Killian! Put your spectacles in there for me, please. Come on, Killian. There you go. Thank you very much. OK, see you later, Killian. All right, well, this is the all-important head-to-head round. It's round number three. It's called Wait and See. I'm going to give you a question category, and you have to decide when your opponent's going to buzz in with the answer. Now, you've got three prediction time slots. One to five seconds, six to ten seconds, and 11 to 15 seconds. Of course, the person answering won't know what your prediction time is. The points don't match the clock this time. It's the best of five. If they answer correctly within your predicted time, you get the point. If they answer correctly outside of your predicted time, then they get the point. So, you know the rules, you've seen the possible time slots, now it's time to wait and see who can make the right prediction. Aoife, you waited the longest over the first two rounds, so you get to decide, do you want to predict first or answer first? Can I answer first, please? Of course you can. So that means you're predicting first, Gronya. Question number one, the category is fairy tales, Gronya, OK? Now, before you make your prediction, let's just have a little chat with Aoife. Aoife, fairy tales, something you're into? Do you know a lot about them? No, haven't no? a clue. Really? Not giving anything away, then? Is she, Gronya? Is she playing it cool? Is she bluffing? What do you I think? I think she's bluffing because she reads a lot. All right, well, are you ready to make your prediction there, Gronya? OK, we can all see that, Aoife can't. So let's hear our clues on fairy tales, Tim, please. I'm a fairy tale that is often performed as a pantomime. A cow is swapped for five magic beans by Jack and the... Aoife. Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack and the Beanstalk's correct. Let's see the prediction. Oh, between six and ten seconds. That means Gronya gets the point. Well played, Gronya. Yep. This is question number two. The category is animals. Gronya, animals? I think I might be OK. You had pets before? Yeah, I've got a cat and a dog. OK. Is she bluffing? You no, know? I think she's telling the truth. Oh, you do? OK. Well, in that case, make your prediction when you're ready, please. OK, there it is for everyone but Gronya. And Tim, let's play the clues, please. I'm a well-known Australian animal. I'm very cute with thick ash grey fur but I have sharp claws to help me climb trees. I pretty much only eat one thing, eucalyptus leaves. I'm often called a... In 11 seconds. Kangaroo. It's the wrong answer. Let's look at the prediction. 
Ooh, she came in at 11 seconds. You predicted six to 10 seconds. That's incorrect as well. Nobody gets the point. The answer we were looking for was koala. OK, question number three. The category is general knowledge. Gronya's turn to predict. Aoife, general knowledge? Good general knowledge? No. OK. So you should be terrible at this question then, yeah? Mm-hmm. OK. You're giving anything away, is she? I think she's bluffing again. So why don't you make your prediction? OK, there it is for everyone but Aoife. Let's play the clues, Tim, please. I'm something most people look forward to. I can be spent in this country or abroad. Ooh, what's the answer? A holiday. Holiday is the correct answer. Let's see the prediction. Ooh, you predicted she'd come in between 11 and 15 seconds. She came in at four with the answer holiday, which means Aoife gets the point. <laughs> well done. The fourth category is television. Grania, watch a lot of television? Um, I used to watch loads of television. Aoife, does she watch a lot of telly? I think she's telling the truth. OK, in your own time. OK, there it is. Time for those clues. Let's hear them, Tim. I am a TV channel for children under six years of age. Ooh, what's the answer? CBB? Is that a guess? Yes. It's the right answer, but let's see the prediction. Ooh, Aoife said you'd come in between six and ten. You got it right at four seconds, which means you get the point. Well played. <laughs> the next category is food. And, Gronya, it's your turn to predict, all right? So, Aoife, do you enjoy food? I like eating. <laughs> like eating? OK, that's handy. Gronya? I don't think she'd be that good at food. It's time to make your prediction, Gronya. In your own time, you just press a button. OK, there it is. Remember, Aoife, you need to get this point to stay in the game. Let's start the clues, Tim, please. I'm a type of food made from milk. There are hundreds of different types of meat. I'm a flavour of crisps when combined with onion. Some people say that's... Aoife. Teeth? It's the right answer. Let's see the prediction. The prediction was that you would come in between 11 and 15 seconds. You got the question right at nine. You are still in the game, Aoife. Well played. <laughs> so, that's two points each. It's all the prepared questions over. Now we have to go to sudden death. The next person to win the points will be joining me in the final game. Wait a minute. OK. Aoife, it's your turn to predict. The category is creatures. OK, creatures. I don't know much about creatures, mm. but I might do all right. Oh, I see. Not giving much away. All right. Aoife, are you ready to make a prediction? OK. Let's play the clues, Tim, please. I'm similar to a chrysalis. I'm a place where a caterpillar... Gronya? Cocoon. Cocoon's the right answer. Let's see the prediction. Aoife predicted you would come in between six and ten. You came in at four seconds with the right answer. Means you get the point. Well played. <laughs> the points and the round. So, if Gronya's through to the final, that means, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Aoife. Aoife, if you could leave your play pod for me and enter the drop zone. OK, Aoife. You and Gronya are good friends. Do you want to say anything to her before you go in the goo portal? We'll still be friends. Excellent Always. stuff. Do you want to say anything back, Gronya? Good luck. Everybody wave goodbye to Aoife. She's been a fantastic contestant. Oh! <laughs> See you soon! Play our final game. Wait a minute. <laughs> Big smiling face. I like that. Yeah. You excited? How's it been so far? Have you enjoyed yourself? It's just been amazing. That's great. This is your final challenge, okay? You're gonna hear a series of questions. They're each 10 seconds long. 
You've got 60 seconds to give me six correct answers and make your way across the goo portal. All right, watch how it's done. Here we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> All right, well, best of luck. I hope you do well. All right, Tim, let's start the questions. I'm a place where you have to spend a lot of time during the day. You might say too much time. However, you don't have to be in me at weekends or on school holidays. The teacher school? usually sits at a desk at the front. School? It's the wrong We're answer. good to eat and grow naturally. You may have to find a way of opening up our outer covers in order to get to us. We often make a crunch when you bite us. Pistachios and almonds are types of us. Nah. It's correct. Move forward. I'm a creature that lives in the sea. I don't look like a fish. I haven't got fins or a tail. Like a squid, I have suckers Eww. and can cling to things. It's the wrong answer. Next we one. are magical fictional creatures. People generally think we're friendly. Banshees and brownies are types of me. According to Peter Pan, if you say you don't believe in us, one will Fairies. die. It's right, move forward. I'm something you'll find in a bathroom and in changing rooms in sports centres and swimming baths. I share my name with a type of weather. You know, when it's wet but not raining Shire. heavily. That's right, move forward. I'm a machine many people have in their home. I'm used after the laundry's been washed by hand or in a washing machine. I rotate the clothes in hot air to dry them quickly and I'm very... That's right, move forward. I am a substance found in your body. I'm a liquid which flows around your body along tubes called yeah. arteries and... That's right, move forward. Oh, we know what that means, so close. Oh. Help me out, guys. Three, two, one. Handed, you get to take away one of our intergalactic space bouncers. Give it up for Gronya! <laughs> what great contestants, another cracking show. Join us next time on Wait For It. I didn't count the time in my head, so I didn't know whether to wait or to answer quickly, and I was so confused I didn't know the answer. We got Up next, you can check into Hotel Trouble. Well, I'm going to check into what biscuits are left in the tin. You're so greedy. Want one? Maybe. Watch out for the ooglies. <laughs> are they in your garden shed? on the CBBC channel. Welcome to Hotel Trouble.